Hello friends, one of the best control I've ever come across, the JQ grid. I want to take you through sample crude, create, read, update, delete with this control. This is what we are going to get after our tutorial. Now, this is coming from the database. You can add new data. Code. Stock level, 100, reorder, or just put two. Cost price 15, this 20, expires on 31st December 2020. Submit. I can search what I just entered, BBC. I get it here. I can edit and say BBC Q. Twenty third here, and I have it changed. Okay, now let's look at the steps to follow. We are going to create the database, the table, the stock procedures, and then uh, create the business logic, the controller, and the view. I'm going to divide this into two parts. Part one: we we'll create the table, the stock procedures. We we'll create only the select in the business logic, and then create the view to just load the grid and in part two we'll continue with the uh, create update and delete okay let's start here i have my database jk grid for you i'll create a table okay product id product name Product code, stock level, reorder level, cost price, selling price. Expand it. Okay, this is going to be the primary key. Identity, yes, product name, stock level, I'll default it to zero. Reorder level, default to zero. Cost price, default to zero. Selling price, default to zero. And expire date will take today's date. Save it as TBL product. Uh, just name it product. Okay, so we have our table created. Just refresh here, and then I'll create our stock procedures. The first one to create will be the select. Here, create block. USD select product. So we have the select. The next one to do will be the insert. USB, USB insert product. Just copy this here. Change this to the add sign. Clear all this. Remove this. Insert. 
and then down here let me read um, this And then here we we'll select the newly inserted ID identity. This will give us the newly inserted ID. So we have insert. We'll create the update. Here we have product ID which we use for the wire clause here and then at this level we will select the number of row affected this will become update we need to replace all this with the add sign and remove this guy okay it should be okay now now the next one is the delete for the delete we only need the product id Then we select row count. Now we are okay with the data at the database level. We have the table and we have the store procedures. Okay, the next thing to do is to create our project. new web we call it jq create for you mvc Part that is being created, let's populate our table with this data. So, new query, let me put this here. This is just an insert. This is just to insert data into our table so that the, the table doesn't, uh, is, is not empty. Let's look at this. When you select, you have no data. So, let's just insert all this. That's a cute. Now we have this. If I select next time, I have all this data in my table 506 rows. Okay, let's go and check if our project is ready. We go here. Yes, it is. Now I want to create the business logic. Let me create a class, uh, a project, a class library project. Add new. class library I'll name this jq grid for you dot bl okay I'll rename this to product here public int product id get set to speed this up I have the rest here we just paste it it's going for the product name product code 
the stock level, we order level, cost price, selling price, and the expiry date. Now we are going to create a new class for the business logic. Okay. So the first thing to do is to make sure we have our connection string. Um, let me see if I have it somewhere here. The connection string should be in our web.config. When you come here, you can delete this or you can delete this here. JQ grid for you is our database name. Look at it. This is the server name. SQL Express. Dot SQL Express. Database is this. Integrated security. Yes. Provider name. SQL. Uh, System. Dot data. Dot uh, SQL client. So we are okay. The connection string name is DB connection, and that is what I'm going to reference here. So first, I need to create a connection string. Configuration manager. Configuration man manager is in. Let's go here and add a reference to system dot configuration assemblies from what system dot configuration. So we have it here. Okay. So using our import system dot configuration. Okay. So, configuration manager dot connection strings, then put the name of my connection string, this db connection dot connection string. Now, public. I enumerable product the product class products in plural now my get is to get the list of all the products so list of products Products is equal to new list of products. Now let's connect to our database using SQL connection. I think if you type it well, you will get it. SQL connection. Let me click here. And import system.data.sql clients. SQL connection, connection object. New SQL connection. And let's pass the connection string to it. This. Now SQL command CMD object is equal to new SQL command and that in SQL command we need to pass the name of the stock procedure USP select product from the database you can go and copy it from the database this is it And then pass the connection object to it. This. Then we go down connection object dot open. Now we are going to use the data reader to read the data from the database. 
reader object is equal to the command object dot execute reader. Now let's look through the reader. For reader dot read, it means that there's data in it. If there's no data, reader dot read will be false. So we create an instance of the product class. And then product this dot product ID. is equal to reader object product id yeah product id okay we need to convert this It or use integer group here and then here to speed this up. Okay, so the product name, reader object product name to string product code. If you don't add it to string, it will give you an error. So you need to convert it to string. For that code, convert this one to double, this to double, this to this now, selling price, expiry date, and then you add it to the products here, the list of products here. And then you come down and return products. Okay. I think we are done at this level for the select. Let me build this. Do you have any error? No. Okay, this is okay. Now I'll go here. First, I need to reference the BL project solution project jQuery grid for you. The BL add this add it to this. Now create a new controller. Add empty controller. I'll name it for that uh, controller. Now, the first thing we need to do is to import the JQ grid for you. Dot BL. Create an instance of the business logic class product business logic. I'll name it product BL is equal to new product business logic now let me create the view leave it as it is we have the view here i'll go back to the controller add a new method this one result select product Return JSON product BL dot product dot to list. We are returning a list of products, comma JSON request behavior dot allow get. Okay, so we are done with this. Now let's go to our view first of all before we go to the view i want us to change this 
to product. This is a controller, product controller, and take us to index. Okay. And the next thing to do is to add some packages. Okay, so let's add some package to this for a JQ grid. Manage nugget packages here. Let's look for jQuery. Install this. Install this as well. Let's look for JQ grid. Let's install this one. I accept. Yes, wow. Okay. So let's go to our controller. I don't need any of this. D Add a table, table ID, grid, on um, my grid, let me just call it grid, and then the next thing to do is to add another div. This one will be for my pager. Okay, so we are down here. Go down here and add script. We start with our function. Now my grid this one dot j q grid fantastic URL Will be my controller product controller start this with this product controller then you come here select product comma next data type This on M type get and then let's add the column names. The first one is going to be ID. The second one will be product name. The next one will be product code. The next will be stock level. The next will be reorder level. Cost price selling price 
and then expire date expires on now our colon model name is product id key to in this we put that id let me copy this no and paste here for the rest This will be product name. This will be product code. This will be stock level. This will be reorder level. Cost price. selling price as far as it in this stock level reorder level cost price selling price as far as it this are not key. Now some properties of the grid. Height. Auto. width let's say auto width to row number twenty load once The role is ten. I can select ten rows, twenty rows, or thirty rows. The pager should be this. The sort name. Product ID is sorted by product ID. View records to start order ascending. The caption of the grid list of product when 
it is empty, empty records. No records to display. JSON reader. Repeat. Items port ID zero yeah multi select default. Okay, so we are done with our grid. The next thing to do is to go to our layout. And add this content, this. script this jq grade and this we have to comment this okay so let's run our project See if everything is okay. No, it's not okay. The length of column names not the same as column model. Okay, so let's go back to our project and check. This should be here. A length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry, we have full that ID first here, so we should have seven, seven now. Now let's run our project again and see where we've got into. Okay, this is our data. We have the ID loaded product, uh, P code, stock level, reorder level, cost price, selling price, the date. Okay, here you can load 10, you can load 30. Okay, so let's go and correct the date. For the date, we can add formatter. Formatter date. Let's run and see. Okay, so we have it here. Um, I would prefer to have the date before the month. So let's add our format options. So inside here, comma, format options. SRC format. D M Y comma new format
Okay, so let's run it and see. Okay, so we have the day before the month. Now, the next thing to do is to add a theme. For a theme, you can get it from this URL. Let's try and see. Just type this here. You have this. Then you can download from this. This gives you all the teams. So I have it here. I have it downloaded already. Let me extract it. Okay. So go inside. I have teams here. Okay. So I want to drag. The teams here so let me drag it then you create for you you can name it whatever you want give it whatever name you want then you create for you teams drag it here Okay, so let's go back to our layout. You can look at the layout here. Shared layout. Then put it under this. You can choose any one you want. I use for the frog or frog. It's here. You drag it here. Okay, so that's it. It should change now. Good. This is our team. The real other level is not coming. We'll look at that. We have to hide the product ID as well. So let's quickly do that. You can use whichever team you want. I use the frog. You can even change it to anyone. Let's use start and see. So here I can delete this or comment it. And bring this one here and run it again. Okay, so we have it here. So we use whatever team you want. Let's go back and do some changes, make some changes. We come here. I want this to be hidden, I don't want it to be shown. So hidden true. My reorder level is not coming. Let me go to my product class. Okay. I'll just leave it as it is now. We are the level. Copy that one. So I'm hiding the product ID. Let's look at it. Okay, so the product ID is hidden. Let me go back to my uh, to the frog team. Oh, well, that's what I use here. Okay, so I want to go back to the layout. I'll comment this and remove this. Now I want to center this, the stock level and the other level, and align this ones right. So I'll go back to index, product name, 
stock level align center we order level align center this I should come back here right Let's run it and see. Okay, so we have this one centered. This one's align left and uh, right, and then selling price right. Now, this is where we'll stop. Uh, in the next part, we are going to add uh, the buttons add new, edit, delete. And the search buttons. Yeah, you can change 30 below 30. You can change 10. Okay, thank you very much. Stay tuned for part two. Bye.